Hello, this is Mr. Tybox123, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Parallels Desktop 6 for the Apple Mac. And I'm going to be running this on a Mac Pro, but this obviously works on any range of the Apple Mac products, whether it be a MacBook or a MacBook Air. And essentially what this application is, is a operating system virtualization application. So if you're familiar with any other virtualization technologies like Fusion or Zen or any of those kind of products which enable you to run different operating systems within the operating system that you're actually using, then you'll be familiar with, with what this product does. Now to me this is an interesting product because not only do I have a requirement to actually run instances of other operating systems inside my Mac OS X which is my current preferred operating system of choice but I actually come from a virtualization background so this has got various different interests to me on a professional level as well. So I'm just going to minimize their website there and I've already got parallels running and what you can see in this list of parallels virtual machines here is the two virtual machines which I've already got set up. Now a good piece of functionality that's in the parallels product is the ability to import your boot camp installation that you've got installed on your local hard drive of your Mac. So for example I've got my imported boot camp here and that is literally a direct copy of the boot camp that I've actually got installed on my Mac Pro. So there's two ways you can do that. You can actually import the bootcamp into its own separate set of configuration files, which means that whenever you make changes to that, they're gonna be kept separate from the bootcamp installation that you've actually got running on your hard drive. Or you can actually run a separate instance of bootcamp in parallel to your Mac operating system. Any changes that you make to your bootcamp that's actually installed on your hard drive will be reflected in the virtual instance that you might run here. And I've also got a, another copy of Windows 7 running here as a separate virtual machine, which is the one that I use for day-to-day -day basis to do all of my work on that, whereby I require a Windows 7 application or a Windows 7 desktop. Here you've got the ability to create new virtual machines. So they actually give you a automated option to download and install the Chrome OS as a virtual machine or if you click new here you can actually go in and just set up pretty much any virtual machine you want of any operating system whether it be Linux another instance of Mac or Chrome or any variation of the Microsoft products so I'm going to actually use this imported boot camp here that I quickly set up to do this demonstration with and if I just click that you'll see that my Windows machine is going to start to boot up as a window running on my Mac desktop and you can resize this and, and do whatever you would like with it. Whilst that's booting you can also see that down the bottom here you've got the ability to map through any peripherals that you might have attached to your physical Mac directly into your virtualized Windows operating system and you can see information about your hard drive and networking and you can configure all of that as needs be and that's going to go ahead now and just boot up into a Windows login screen And you can see now once that Windows 7 virtual operating system is booted it's now running inside Mac OS X and I can use that as a normal operating system and I can start running my Windows applications inside this virtual instance of Windows here exactly the same as if you were actually running it on a direct Windows 7 machine or in boot camp on an Apple Mac. And you can run any normal applications here like you normally would. It also shares your applications from your Mac into your Windows 7 operating system as well. So if I wanted to run a Mac application from within Windows 7, I can also do that. So if I go here and run up, for example, a Mac version of Excel, that's gonna go ahead and actually launch 
Excel on my Mac machine. What you can also see, and actually this is what I think is the best part and the most unique part of this product, is its ability to integrate your Windows applications into your Mac operating system. So you can see here, for example, this copy of Skype, because it's got the two parallel bars here, means that it's actually the version that's running on my Windows 7 virtual operating system, not the Skype that's actually being run on my local Mac operating system here and the best piece of functionality from within the Parallels product is the ability to do something called coherence. So if I go up here and actually click coherence, what that's actually now gonna do is go ahead and fully integrate my Windows operating system into my Mac operating system. And rather than having to run Windows as a separate window a separate instance and run your applications from within there it actually integrates all of your Windows operating system into your Mac operating system so you can see that I've got my taskbar icons up here that would normally appear in my actual Windows machine itself and we can go ahead and and run those things and use them exactly as we would normally and the actual parallels bar here that it puts in the menu if you right click this, it actually brings up a full Windows start bar and then I can actually run my Windows applications. They appear here in the dock and they're actually running natively now on my Mac operating system and I can go ahead and use those as I would normally as if this was actually a Windows machine. Now for me personally, because I have a requirement to run specific Windows applications that just aren't available on the Mac, and in some instances there's applications which I prefer to run from a Windows operating system, like Outlook for example, rather than the Mac Outlook, I can do this and they still look and feel as if they're actually running on my Mac, but in fact they're actually being pulled and displayed from my Windows operating system. And I think this is just a fantastic piece of functionality that Parallels have written into the product to enable you to have an effective workflow when you're doing all of the different operations which you do on a daily basis. So that was my basic introduction to Parallels 6 for the Mac and I really do think that this is an absolutely fantastic product. If you have a requirement or you just want to run Windows applications inside your Mac operating system or even maybe Linux applications or something else, then this is just an absolutely incredible product. The coherence option makes doing day-to-day -day work a lot easier and simpler rather than actually having to flick directly to a complete desktop window running a separate operating system. And for £64.99, which it's available for on the website at the moment, this is really an absolutely incredible product. So. If you want to do anything like this, I would highly recommend this product. If anyone would like to go any more in depth into this product or would like me to show something else that you're particularly interested in, then please do drop me a comment or an email. And thank you very much for watching.